Detroit Motor City for Mayhem, and it's gonna be big, it's gonna be huge. I'm here with commentator Ben, and uh, I think, right, you're here this week, right? Correct? Yeah, I don't know why I had to come to Detroit. I hate this fucking place, but whatever. You're so excited to get here last week. Didn't you fucking say Detroit last week? And, uh, I don't know. I'm not even gonna argue it. I'm pretty sure you mentioned Detroit last week, so nice try, nice try. Did I? Uh, can you continue to pretend like you hate Detroit, but we all know everyone loves Detroit. Motor City, Motor City. I'm surprised you didn't make a call about my phone. Oh, yeah. Uh, LAX is making their way out of the ring right now. Should I like start rapping LAX is being able to do I know LAX, homicide and man, is I'm in a weird mood right now. I guess it's because we're back in Detroit. Then the next time we're going to be in Detroit, it's going to be made in Detroit, where we're going to be on the build the wrestle bus. That's going to be a huge show. You know how you know how Mayhem does Detroit, man. We we, 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 we can do good shows for Detroit. Big shit always happens when we're in Detroit, right? Yeah, he's there, boy. No. No, I mean, great, great setup. I was trying to put us over, and we failed. Uh, mm. And their opponents, of course, is going to be the tag team champions, the Connection. Here, once I regain uh, consciousness here with the show, I'll figure out and I'll start talking about this match. But right now, I gotta mention something, Ben. In two weeks, yeah. uh, it's going to be Mon Memorial Day. Memorial Day yep. Mayhem. Well, with what happened on Wreckage last week, Jay Bentley is now going to be going over from Wreckage to Mayhem for that night Five. to defend the Holiday Championship. And an eight man over the top battle royal. Isn't that exciting? Can we have to have him? Can we just well, like a no, 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 it's like a, it's a package deal though. Yeah, we get the holiday champion, that job, but then guess who else is coming over with him? Who? The leader of the Bullet Club, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, will make his in-ring debut on Mayhem inside the Battle Royal. Well, damn. That almost makes it worth it. No, and that's not even it. Guess who else is going to be there? So we have to have three guys from Wreckage. Oh, I'll take a wild guess. Take a wild guess on who I got over here. It's gonna be epic. I don't really know who's on that He show. is the man of the universe, the only man that matters in the universe, your wrestling god, CrossFit Jesus, Seth Freakin' Rollins! So can we take them and send Jay back? Uh, he's the champion, though. I gotta do introductions, so just hold on. Hold on. Alright, you wanna do them? That's probably a bad idea. Introducing first, the Challengers, representing the Latin American Exchange. This is Notorious 1A7 Homicide, Super Mex. This is L-A-X. Okay, what were you saying? Yeah, but can we just, like, send Jay back and we'll just keep the title? I mean. And their opponents, they are the current reigning, defending Mayhem Tag Team Champions of the UWA, repping the connection. This is the Madman, Mason Mercer, and the Bulldozer, Brody Lee. 
and together they are the connection. Okay, what were you saying? So, sorry, I'm 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 looking at these two really tall motherfuckers and I'm trying to figure out how the fuck they get out of the dressing room. They're, they're taller than the fucking room door. No, well, they might be. I mean, maybe they cut in and they, maybe they just have to do limbo under it or something. I don't know. Hmm. Can you imagine Mason now, Mercer playing a limbo? I'd rather not. That seems very weird, but... <laughs> I'm sure you do that with Cage every night in the locker room. Oh, LAX right now is in full control here on the connection. <laughs> no comment. Great. <laughs> That, that is his training to keep limber. Oh god, so you're okay. Uh, nonetheless, the connection right now is getting a take into him by the Latin American exchange. I don't do I don't judge here. Uh, right there, shoulder tackle from Hernandez. You can do whatever you want. I mean, well, on wreckage, technically we have a, a guy over there who touches little children, but uh, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, LAX right now is in firm control of the connection. Uh, have you not heard of GMT? That's <laughs> who that is? Oh, uh, whoops. Uh, two rollers, oh, and Homicide just hit the three amigos. He just did that for, you know, as his boy, uh, A. Guerrero, mm. who's not going to be here tonight. He may never be here again. I'm waiting for confirmation on Kevin Dunn of if Eddie Guerrero is even going to return ever. But with what Sammy Callahan did to him the other week, bat across the back of the neck, I can't imagine him returning ever again so probably not from what I saw it happen but yeah Doomsday you know, is a bunch of sick motherfuckers I can tell but it's kind of an amusing scene it's kind of almost even bout if I remember correctly the last time we saw them the connection destroyed them yeah, well, I mean, I mean, LAX, they want this opportunity. They did beat Doomsday in that damn TLC match at Hellbound to get this opportunity. Oh, God, Brody Lee just did a hurricanrana from the middle rope. Oh, yeah, throw up that vintage connection pose. Repping the connection strong there is Brody Lee. OG member, I got to give him credit there. Normally, I wouldn't support the connection, but oh, look at that. Brody Lee just did Mason's Ooh, move. The connection. Huh? You always support the connection. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, right there, Hernandez mm. with an like uppercut. You don't pick favorites. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've never picked any favorite before in my life. Uh, right there, mm -hmm. Hernandez. I'm the most unbiased commentator there could ever be. Uh, right there, a stolen you know suplex. I don't know what you're talking about. Adam <laughs> Cole, baby. Uh, nonetheless. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> I can't say someone's name. Uh, and right Ooh. there. Hernandez is in control on the bulldozer. Uh, Brody Lee might want to turn around because he's about to get fucked up. What the fuck is Mace, uh, Mason? He's got a damn ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, it, I'm very... I don't know why the hell Mason pulled out a damn ladder, but I'm not going to ask questions here. Oh, and Mason right there to break up the pinball Success. on Brody Lee. Oh, the fuck wait, is Mason? Oh god. No! Oh, oh there goes the homie homicide's neck. And there goes Brody Lee right into Mason Mercer. Uh Hernandez, you might want to turn around, you stupid fuck. Mason Mercer just got him there. Oh! Oh shit. Right. Hernandez just countered. Holy fuck. Now he's tossing Mason. Uh well eventually the numbers game we've got to catch up here. It's a two-on-one predicament right now. And now Brody Lee's caught him and gonna snap down the big Super Max Hernandez here. No! Jeez, LAX right now is kicking some ass here. Oh, they are, they're really trying to pick up from that loss they had to him last time. And Gringo Cutter! Uh, Homicide, you might want to turn around. Brody Lee's right there. Uh, Homicide, and Brody Lee just caught him just like that. Homicide is in tr Oh, God, he's going for that big wait, crucifix wait, bomb. No! Oh, shit. Did that the other week in the triple threat match. And Mason right now is getting fired up, man. He, they, I think just they finally realize they're in control, man. Brody better watch out for the team that's on the outside. 
Uh, Supermax is back up. Oh God, but Mason right now just taking it to homicide, man. Oh God, now Hernandez is about to lay him out. Uh, what the the, hell? Oh shit. He just pounced him, but Mason just hit an X-plex on homicide. Kind of jumped over homicide too. Now Hernandez has caught Mason. Oh God, border toss oh. into the buckles. Damn. Buddy Lee from behind just tosses nice Hernandez. Now this is getting completely chaotic, man. Brody, turn around. I, I thought Homicide was going right after Brody Lee. Decides Mason Mercer's already back up to his feet, man. That is one tough uh -oh. SOB. Gringo killer. Yeah, Mason just got killed, though. Gringo killer. Uh, Brody. Set out Powerbomb. One, two. Oh. oh. That, was that was way too, too close. close. Yeah, oh, God. Uh, Brody Lee's about to kill Homicide, and no! What a neck breaker there, man. A swinging neck breaker from Brody. Yeah, the connection Ooh. right now is just gloating there in full control on the homie Homicide. God damn, now what the hell is Brody Lee planning? Oh god, here we go, whiplash effect! Whiplash effect to Homicide! Hernandez right there to cut him off. Big Supermax. Uh, oh, Hernandez. <laughs> this is getting very intense, man. Uh, now oh. it's down two to one against the connection. Yeah, and don't forget what all uh, uh, Mason's got hit with already in this match. But Mason right now is doing a good job of fighting him off. You gotta give him credit here. He is doing a good job at that. Mason, everything Homicide's trying uh -oh. to throw at him, it just has no effect on him. Mason Mercer right now is fired up. He cannot be stopped. He is the madman. Yeah, Mason's not fucking around right now. Brody Lee needs to get back in there and help his tag team partner, though. You gotta think about the inexperience that those two have as a tag team. And right now they are showing it as Hernandez just tosses oh. Mason Mercer Damn. over his shoulders. Oh, but Mason's right back up. Mason is right back up. Uh oh. This man is relentless, but Hernandez counters yet again. No. Oh, geez, huge bulldog there. One, two. No, and Mason kicks out at two. Brody Lee now is the one in trouble, though. The bulldog. Homicide going to the top. Oh, this one's for Eddie. Oh, no, Centon Bomb, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, that's funny. I was expecting a frog splash. Brody Lee kicks out at two. Is that what you were thinking too? I thought he was going to hit a frog I, splash there. Yeah. What, what, what could he possibly be going for? There's that gut buster from Big Supermax. And LAX were in control for a few seconds, but there's the big lariat from the bulldozer. And Brody Lee. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, God. God. Oh God, I don't know. Hernandez just freaking arm dragged out of it, but I don't know if he realizes he's in a two-on-one predicament right now. Mason, help your tag team partner. What the fuck, man? Oh no! Oh, my God. Brody Lee just landed really bad there. Uh, uh, Brody, are you okay? Are you conscious, man? Uh, he's moving. He's good. God damn, you gotta wonder what condition Mason, I mean, Brody Lee's in right now. Mason Mercer's got hit with both the Gringo Killer and the freaking Border Toss. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, he's pinned him, ref. He's pinned him. Oh, my God. Brody Lee needs to get up, man, but he's in a, he's in a bad predicament. And uh, Mason's in a lot worse of a predicament here. Gringo Killer. Oh, but Brody Lee just came in and just clocked him, man. Brody Lee right there for the save. Homicide counters. And now just presses him. Oh, oh and now Hernandez is going to take the cover here. Two and three. LAX are the new tag team champion. Orgullosamente Latino hasta la muerte y después. Worldwide Latino pride. The ambassadors of violence. LAX oh, why is your mic sound for? I know who I do. LAX. Uh, picking up the bad title here tonight over the connection. 51-50 is LAX. 
Just here and I got Bernie Lee just got, I don't know what the fuck happened to him. I don't know what Mason was thinking when he did that. But Bernie Lee went way too bad. And that ended up costing him there. And just like that, the connection just dropped the tag title for the LA. Oh, sh oh, shit! I, I told you, I told you big things happen in Detroit. The Revival's back. Say yeah. We go on. Yeah. You know what they want. They've never got their tag titles rematch, man. LAX wants their damn, I mean, that's not LAX, the fucking Revival want their damn belt back. Good luck, LAX. Our tag team division on Mayhem is up that much stronger, man. Next on the card, I can't believe we just seen the revival return. Ben, isn't that the, just the greatest thing ever? I, I didn't expect it. Big things do happen in Detroit, of course. Like I said, I'm not biased at all. I just like the revival. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, Nonetheless, out here comes Eva Lee, and she's making her way down to the ring. She is the women's global champion yet again. Uh, well, she knocked off Kelly Adams back at Hellbound inside the steel cage. I uh, won it very cheaply. I'm not happy about that skill. Then after that, Eva Lee won a match on Mayhem the other week. Kelly Adams would pick up an L last week on Mayhem. She took an L with Jessica Almeida, so no shame there. Here not Eva Lee will be going one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Valkyrie, though. And Valkyrie's been in a very different mood and mindset. We've seen what she did on Wreckage, oh, Annihilating, that's the word I'm looking for. Annihilating Rose Garcia. And, well, Eva Lee is going to have fun heading to her match with Kelly Adams this Sunday in Gridlock. And she has to go one-on-one -on -one with Taya Valkyrie tonight. And look who's accompanying Taya to ringside. We know it's definitely not Rose Garcia. I don't see anyone. Her, 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 her. Hey, hey, Bill, check this. She's smoking. <laughs> Good one. No. No, no. no. I tried. I think, I think she got lost in the smoke, though. Yeah, man, yeah, she's on fire. fire. Uh, Tyler Valkyrie's making a, this isn't the big guy's women's show anymore. Uh, Tyler Valkyrie's making her way down to the ring, thank god, I mean, you know, then we'd have Ronda and Maurice and Alley. Who? Uh, from the left side, Tyler Valkyrie's making her way into the ring here, she's about to go head there with Eva Lee, like I said. Uh, how, how, what do you think of the new minds of the Tyler Valkyrie? Like, they're she's just very different. enraged. It's a very different Tyler. It seems that it started when... A certain boyfriend of hers got took out. Yeah, that was by Adam Cole, baby. Uh, nonetheless, Eva Lee's right there with a nice sunset flip. Which I mean, I mean, Adam Cole still shouldn't have done that, but still, it's Adam Cole, baby. Uh, right there, Tyler Valkyrie going right after the arm of Eva Lee. And no, no one hates Adam Cole, right? The uh, double I foot stomp there from Taya. Adam Cole. Is like a wrestling god, man. He's like the next Seth freaking Rollins. Mm. Uh, nonetheless, oh! Oh shit! Wow, a smack of the face. Man, Taya is not taking any shit from the champ Eva Lee's right now. Which Taya, you need to quit being a fucking cunt. I mean, like really. I said it. I said it last week on Wreckage. I don't care. I'm sticking to it. Taya is acting like a bitch. And I don't really, I mean, I get that her boyfriend's injured right now and on the shelf, Johnny Mayhem. I like Johnny too, he's cool, but, oh, nice duck there from Evie, but Taya just oh, came shit. right back in okay. after her here. And, oh! oh damn. Nice powerbomb from Taya. Does Kelly Adams being at ringside affect Eva Lee's at all uh, mentally here? Um, I'm sure, I'm sure Kelly Adams is talking some shit to her, right into her face too. Yeah, Taya just forearmed her in the face, but Eva Lee just took none of it there. And now right into body scissors. Eva Lee is not playing around. Obviously, she's a two-time women's global champion. 
Uh, I, I gave a listing for the top uh, five or six women last week, Ben. And it literally go. I literally yeah. said it's Eva Lee, Demi Dynamite, Jessica Almeida, Kelly Adams, Taya Valkyrie, and then Hanaya. Would you agree? Roughly. I would. Yes. It's it's close to that. I mean, Eva Lee is taking control here of the women's division. She's more or less the face now. Since Almeida has been slacking as of late. But we've seen Almeida pick up a big win against Kelly Adams last week, so maybe she's making a comeback here. Uh, nonetheless, Taya was about to fuck up Evie. Evie able to counter there, though. And now right into a beautiful Northern Light suplex. She would have kept the bridge there. Who knows? It might have been over. It's possible. Good enough pin on those. It's very difficult to kick out. Yeah, Taya with a nice arm drag counter there. Taya is doing a good job against Evie Lee, I will admit that. And Evie could be in trouble here. Yeah, Taya is going for a Lucha DDT out of the corner there, otherwise known as a Tornado DDT, but since she's Lucha Royalty, I'll call it a Lucha DDT. Uh, to the queen. Taya Valkyrie's now called up Evie. She's looking to make short work of the women's global champ, Eva Lise. Oh, uh -oh. God. Rhodes to Valhalla Ooh, right from Taya middle. Valkyrie. Inning. Two and three. Whoa. Oh, so Taya Valkyrie is certainly making headway. God damn it, Taya, you fucking cunt. Uh, nonetheless, Eva Lee wins this. I mean, Eva Lee loses here tonight. Taya Valkyrie, man, she just destroyed Rose Garcia on wreckage as well. Is Taya next in line for a title opportunity? Like, damn. It's very positive. Yeah, no kidding. She, uh, when's the last time she's lost a fucking match? Exactly. Yeah. God damn, that Taya is on a roll right now. Good win there for Taya. She's still a fucking cunt, but uh, nonetheless, I'll still give her credit. Quit being a bitch. Up here, sell the card, and guess who's making his way down to the ring? Ben, it's your client, the machine. Yes, he is, and he's gonna destroy Michael Moore. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm surprised you're not screaming right now that you're not down at ringside. But anyways, you know, you know the rules here. You know, you know the stipulation. Which I mean, granted, you, know, you won't be able to be in Cage's corner locked in this uh, Sunday. So I mean, I don't really. I mean, maybe you're just giving them a warm up. It would be, be a lot uh, more uh, nice, I should say, if you, if you trusted him more instead of having you know, that big meathead outside the door every time I open it. And so. talking about Kevin Dunn or the big guy? That one. They're both out Kevin's there right now. They're, they're, they're playing checkers. But, uh, nonetheless, <laughs> it's the only game that Ryback understands. Uh, nonetheless, now making his way down to the ring is Shinsuke Nakamura. And he's about to go head to head with Cage. Of course, as you know, Ben, your client and the King of Strong Style will both be in the uh, locked in match this Sunday, which is going to be for number one contendership towards either the Pure Mayhem or the Universe title, whichever they choose. And well, uh, this matchup here tonight is going to be for the sixth entry into the locked in match. We've already... Also, you... Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, are you sure you know what I picked? It looks like he's trying to beat one of the checkers. We, we've already guaranteed that Omar Robinson is going to get the final spot in the Rising Stars one, as he, of course, is the champ. And uh, nonetheless, so I, the hardcore title is going to be random. I'm just going to keep that one random, I guess. Or, I guess stay tuned to Wreckage. Nonetheless, Nakamura is making his way down the ring here. I might do something on Wreckage this final week. We'll see. Got a huge fatal forward booked on Wreckage, Ben. 
We got Slick Rick versus GMP versus Fatal versus Leon Blackgrave. Big match. Because Leon's like the most dominant competitor in the UWA right now. I've called him the face of the universe now. He's like the new face. Would you agree? Uh, yes. Uh, nonetheless, we need to focus back to Mayhem, though. We're in Detroit right now. We're talking about wreckage. Uh, nonetheless, uh, this is, uh, that's, just, that's just a bunch of wreckage, man. Cage Nakamura. Let's go, Muscles. Ring this damn bell. Let's get this match. Oh, God, the machine's running right oh, at him. Oh. Well, no tie-up here between the two. That's you proud of that right, right now? Ben Cage kind of just cheap shot at him. That's what I taught him. Oh, man. Tomorrow. Powerhouse. He's being a dick right now to Shinsuke. Now off the ropes. Break Moon his fucking salt. legs. Break his legs. He didn't even go after his legs, you douche. And uh, they kicks him in the back. Yeah. That was just a, a suggestion to break his legs. Yeah, then he won't be able to make the locked in and I have to fucking replace him, you dickweed. Uh, right there, sliding STO, and I definitely won't be replacing him with your dumb ass. Oh, by the way, how are you fucking ribs feeling right now? How's your face? I don't know. Why don't we ask the hatchet in my drawer? Uh, I'm sure you love Chief Graham just beating the crap out of you last week. That's pretty funny. All right, there's a gourd buster. So what happens when you come out and you try to fuck with Chief Graham? I mean, I'm just telling you, he did spear that other wreckage GM at one point. Whatever the fuck his name was. Mm -hmm. uh, and right now, Nakamura lifts Cage up to his feet here. Shinsuke Nakamura's regained control. Ben, how do you feel about that? What strategy is your machine going to have to take here? You can't fucking fight a machine, bitch. Oh, well. I she think. always wins. Yeah, and another Look stalemate here between the two. Uh, he isn't winning shit right now, Ben. No! You die! Illegal. He, had, he, had, <laughs> he, he had something in his knees. He has metal in his knees or something. Illegal. Yeah, yeah it's maneuver. probably called muscles, man, and bones and ligaments. That's probably what's in his knees. I don't knee. think that should be metal. I don't think that should be metal. <laughs> Get the, get the fuck out of here. Cage, Cage is a fucking machine. Didn't you say he's made out of metal at one point? Figuratively. That's a different, position. That's a different thing. He's a machine. He's supposed to be made out of a machine. Not, 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 not more. He well, has a loaded knee. Either way, metal right now is definitely getting rearranged by Shinsuke's knee. And Nakamura is going to the top. Cage needs your help right now. Get it? <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I, I said no more. I said no more puns earlier. Oh, jeez, Cage just carried, just overpowered Nakamura. I think he was tired of my shitty jokes. Oh, uh, now the machine with a drop kick to the side of the head. Cage is regaining control here on Shinsuke. You don't seem very happy right now. Oh, I, I already know. What... There's no need to be excited or anything. The machine always wins. Always. Yeah, okay, what happened last week then? Alright, there, Cage with a tilt the world arm drag. Bias referee. That's what happened. The ref wasn't even the fucking ring. The fucking fans were counting. It was a steel cage match. Bias fans, then. Yeah, okay. Uh, nonetheless, uh, Cage right now is in firm control on Shinsuke Nakamura right now. This has been a fair, fairly good back and forth match so far, but Shinsuke just got his head Ooh, taken yeah. off. Spoke too soon. Don't forget, guys, we still have an epic main event for the Universe title as Nitro set to take his rematch against Adam Cole, baby, for the Universe Championship. That is going to be huge. And nonetheless, right now, Cage is about to kill Shinsuke Nakamura. Told you, the machine always wins. Oh, fuck off. Cage right there into the cover on Nakamura. One, two, does he have the sixth spot? No, Shinsuke kicks out of two. Brett, that was fucking three, you slow motherfucker. Did you just call, I mean, did you just call muscles retarded? You just call him slow. Oh, right there, leg across the chest. Oh, not that kind of slow, okay. No, but oh, I'm slow, my bad. bad. The Jeez. right back slow and that slow. <laughs> Nakamura right now is just mean the shit out of Cage, man. Oh, and right there, double close lines, that big calf kick from Shinsuke Nakamura. Look at that, Ben. How are you feeling about your client right now at this moment? The machine always wins. 
Does he now? No! Imploder from Shinsuke Nakamura. This could be a huge win for Shinsuke if he is able to knock off the machine called Cage. Be a huge upset. Cage right back up. Oh no. No! He just takes Nakamura's face off. Nice giant lariat there. Two, and nope. Not today, Ben. Not yet, anyways. Oh. Cage's, <laughs> Cage's athleticism is even ridiculous. I'll give him that. Uh, the machine into the corner here. The, 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 Jesus Christ. Cage right now taking to Nakamura. Big club to the back there. Shinsuke. Shinsuke going to regain control though, Ben. He's in trouble. Set out Gord Buster. Seen the other week what that sets up for. Knee to face. Knee to face, Ben. Oh. Knee to face. Oh, shit. Now he backs up into the corner. Kinshasa. Say night night for your client cage, Ben. No! Right to the face. Knee to machine. Cover. One, two. Oh! Hold the machine all over him. What happened to the slow count there, Ben? He hasn't even won yet, you idiot. Nakamura lifts him up. Having a rocket, though. The yeah, fuck? You're fucking delusional. Uh, Cage is getting back up to his feet here. Nakamura's got him. The right. delusional one is Nakamura thinking he can beat Cage. Dude, he almost did. Like, I'm almost considering Mr. Muscles was a slow count there that time, actually. Uh, and right there, Shinsuke. Big knee lift into the corner on Cage. Loaded knee, ref. Loaded knee. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Nice counter there from the machine. Loaded mohawk. All right there, elbow to the face. mohawk. <laughs> All right, right there, Nakamura. No, oh, with the big knee out of the corner. And Cage is grounded, Ben. That could be it. Your machine might be dead. Two, and no. Maybe not. He's still in it. For how much longer is it, though, is the question, Ben? How much longer can Cage put up with this offense? Oh, God. Kinshasa again. No, he just pulled Cage inside out, Ben. There's a second King Shasta. One, two, and three. Nakamura gets the sixth spot the in the match. F count. Loaded knee by his referee. He's, he's racist against machines. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, nonetheless, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, maybe he is. I don't know. I don't care. the pitch enough to get rid of him. As long as he doesn't say any bad words like robot or something, I guess we're okay. Uh, right there, imploding. Uh, reverse power slam. The big knee lift from Shinsuke Nakamura. And right there, the big King Shasa that folded King Cage in half, man. Look at that. He just got folded inside out. And can you imagine Nakamura, if he wins that walk-in match, he can move on to challenge Adam Cole. Or Delson Hollow. Or Nitro. Huge opportunity for Nakamura. Aren't you excited? Oh, I came home to the bay and they ain't know what to say. I left Luke warm and came back on fire. So last year was a height, but I'ma take us higher. Sitting in the studio, pulling all nighters. Dub money, ain't a motherfucker lava. Save the animal, cause you're preaching to the choir. I'm dropping more shit than birds this summer. The top gonna pay one to everybody's under. I'm partying, independent newcomer. You wanna compare? We the new sick with it. That was a tough loss there for Cage. Loaded, reckless. He breaks his breath. The show's perfect. This is ref when uh, Cage's wife Nakamura was Japanese. Yeah, okay. Uh, none, huh? He's racist against machines. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take that into uh, consideration on the next. Hey, well, yeah, I won't. Uh, nonetheless, Sharknado's making his way down to the ring here. We're about to get a Fatal 4-Way Rising Stars Elimination match. Ben, ben uh, what do you think of this match? 
Ready for a fatal four-way Rising Stars elimination match? You got Sharknado, the X-Man, the Cardiac Kid, Desmond Xavier, of course, my boy Nikki Sutton, and then the Rising Stars champion, Omar Robinson. I'm picking Omar. You're picking, did you say the Omar? Call him the Omar. I know Omar is so good now you're gonna put V in front of his name. Yep. He's that good. He gets V in front of his name. He can V. Get it right. Interesting. Nonetheless, Desmond Xavier is making his way down to the ring here. We're about to get this fatal four-way matchup underway here. But nonetheless, uh, so you say Omar for sure got this. Do you feel the same way, uh, come good luck? It's the same, it's the similar situation. I mean, they're just, they're locked inside the steel structure and they've got pot intervals and they're six of them instead of four. But yeah, it's just a similar situation. It's elimination. I mean, that's about if it's the same, but still, it's just similar. I mean, these are four of the competitors that's going to be in there, along with, of course, Raven Mullins and the returning Adam Astounding will be back as well. Now making his oh, way yeah, down yeah, to the yeah. ring, of course, is, oh, yeah, well, oh, I know how you feel about Adam. Uh, nonetheless, Nikki Sutton's making his way down to the ring here. He's about to be in the match next. And, of course, then we will have the final competitor make his way down to the ring, which will be the current reigning, defending. Well, he's the most dominant guy in the whole division. That's Omar Robinson, so, I mean, it's very obvious for someone to pick Omar to win this match. I think he's the easy pick. I would say the dark horse for this match is actually Sharknado. He's definitely the youngest competitor in this lock-in match. Due to the fact, we don't, we don't have AR Fox in the division anymore, so I had to bring Sharknado up to the show. AR Fox, of course, got traded over to the lightweight division, so over on Wreckage, so he's not around here anymore. Nonetheless, so now Sharknado is taking a higher up role on the show. Nonetheless, making his way down to the ring here finally is the Rising Stars champion Omar Robinson. So you said you're a big fan of Omar, huh? The Omar, yep. The Omar Robinson. Yeah, Omar is very, uh, he's a very good competitor here in the UWA. I will admit that. Omar Robinson is very skilled. He's very entertaining in my opinion. He's the best transition wrestler on the planet. I mean, you can try to argue that, but you're going to fail every single time. So, Omar Robinson is the top guy in the Rising Stars division. We're going to see if he can continue that at Gridwalk. You know. Uh, nonetheless, the Sharknado, Desmond Xavier, Nikki Sutton, and Omar Robinson. Let's get this going. And Muscles rings the bell ringing of this fatal four-way matchup underway here. Nikki Sutton, Omar Robinson. Oh. Omar gave Xavier a backbreaker. Man, no kidding. In a, uh, or should Nikki I call it the backbreaker from the oh, Omar God. Robinson? There we, there we go. He's acting like a mark. Uh, right there, Sharknado with a punch to the mid. Oh, Damn! Shit. Sutton laid him the fuck out. Yes, and you he talk that? He's... Jesus, he's white as fuck. Well, he is from England. Like I said, we got a luchador from oh, England. How funny is that? I talking about the Sharknado. Yeah, he's from England. Is he? Oh, wow. I didn't know that either. Okay. Yeah, both the Brits are out there on the outside fighting against each other right oh, now. Oh, shit. We got nice Omar Japanese in the ring. Arm drag. Of course, Omar from Detroit, Desmond Xavier from Ohio. So you got the two Midwest oh. guys uh, fighting, uh, and then you got the two British guys fighting each other. Oh. It works out perfect. Oh. Usually the, the hometown boy usually loses in these situations. Let's see if he can overcome those odds. And the odds in the ring. That is true. Oh, I didn't even consider Yeah, he is the hometown favorite here in this match. Nice German suplex there from Nicky Sutton. Good call. Snap. Oh. It's a nice float over. Yeah, he's talking in German from Sutton. All right, there Desmond counters goes behind. Oh, sucker punch to the face there. You know you know how much I love seeing Desmond and Nicky Sutton go at it one-on-one. On one. They're a fucking great matchup every single time they're in the ring. Oh man, C 
Sutton went to uh -oh. catch him there. Desmond was able to move oh. out of the way. He jumped out of the way. Takes out Omar Robinson. Spikes him face first on the canvas. And Omar is getting the fuck out of Dodge. Desmond from behind on a Sharknado. Franken driver from Desmond Xavier. And now the yeah, X-Man. The x mans controlling the action now as Desmond Xavier. Ooh, nice oh. swanton. And now Sutton. Phoenix Splash connects on the side of Desmond Xavier there. Didn't connect too much, not, though. Not really sure why he decided to do that when, oh. you know. Now he just took out Mr. Muscle. Oh! Nice shoulder tackles into the corner by the Omar Robinson. Yeah, I don't think that's going to catch. Oh, oh man! That caught. <laughs> that caught Desmond's ah. face on the way down. It did, man. It looked like he bent his neck a little bit. Oh god, now they're going to double team Desmond Xavier going right back after the neck. Some it teamwork right here. Wheelbarrow suplex combo there from Omar and Sharknado. This is a great freaking fatal four way so far with these rising stars. Omar Get just lays out Sharknado. Now Sutton looks like going to help out Omar here. Oh, wait, you Omar saw that? Omar kind of, as, soon, as soon as Sutton got back in there, Omar backed off, catch a little, catch his breather. That's smart tactics from him. And, oh man! Oh! Fuck! He threw Sharknado into Sutton and then chop blocked the shit out of Sharknado. Wait, what is he? Uh oh. Pele kick from Desmond. Now submission. Omar. Omar with that vintage stretch there. Omar is just incredibly freaking talented. I mean, there's no denying that. Desmond Xavier sends Nikki Sutton over the ropes now, knocks him down to the floor, drop kicks his knee out from under Sharknado again. He's trying to blow out Sharknado's knee, which of course you know what that's going to set up for, obviously. Yes, it is. That's that patented submission by Dio Mar Robinson. As he's going to go for the leg bar, the single leg Boston. Either or. Right there, nice freaking uh, Falcon Hero oh, out there on the floor. But right here, we got the leg bar. Leg bar locked in on Sharknado. Sharknado is in trouble, oh, and he takes all over. He's gone. It's all over for Sharknado anyways. Now we're down to three. Desmond Xavier, Nikki Sutton, and Omar Robinson are all fighting out on the floor here. Now Sutton going after it. Omar sends him right oh. to the steps. I like how we've seen Desmond be the Franken driver earlier, and now Nikki Sutton gives it right back to him. These two are very good at doing each other's moves. Turnabout is fair play. Turnabout is fair play. Yeah, they're very uh, evenly matched too, right there. And Pele oh. again from Desmond. I do believe that Sutton's been busted up by that boot. Yeah, Nikki Sutton is bleeding, and Om Omar just uh, went after Desmond. There, oh. Desmond stops and sends him right into the steps. That's all they've been doing is throwing Omar into the steps a couple minutes past through here. Oh no, he's got a table. What is he gonna do with that? Oh, jeez, Omar from behind. Desmond going to counter send Omar back into the ring. Desmond could be looking to get rid of Omar Robinson now if he can, if he can get lucky. Big elbow there from Desmond Xavier, the X-Man. Didn't follow up, and now Omar going to follow up for him here. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Oh, Conor, oh, oh. German. Ooh. One, two. Desmond out at two. Sutton comes in. Nikki Sutton going to the top here. Omar's in the way. And uh, just to correct you, that would be Omar Robinson German. Oh, God. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. He just caught the side of Desmond's face there when he landed to Nikki is, Sutton. What is with Sutton doing these weird moves to, like, people on their sides all of a sudden? And Sutton doesn't give a fuck, man. I mean, which is why I've always liked know. Nikki Sutton, man. I said he's my boy for a while now. Uh, uh, Favorite right there, ain't it? Hmm? Huh? No. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, yes. I've said that. I, mean, I don't cheer for him necessarily. Oh, what is he stand on top of the? Oh, never mind. He got down. Thought we were gonna do some kind of spring move from a, a kind of slanted yeah, ladder. Something could get really ugly there. Oh, and Omar cuts him off immediately. Uh -oh. Desmond counter slides down the back. Nicely done there from the X Man. And Desmond Xavier takes out the knee of Nikki Sutton. What the hell is Desmond? Plants him on his head with a Franken with a Hurricane driver. Desmond now in firm control of this matchup in Snap German. Snap German right Ooh. into the bridge. One, two, Nicky Sutton's in trouble. No, he kicks out a two. Incredible match between these three right now. 
Omar Robinson has Desmond up on his shoulders. Once again, Desmond able to counter. Omar is not doing too hot right now. Uh, Pele oh, kick. I think we're going to start checking Desmond's foot for some kind of booting or something. Franken driver. Oh, shit. Good night, Sutton. Desmond is on fire, man. And now Desmond has Omar well, by the back of the head. For. Desmond, oh god, he's gonna take to the skies here. Desmond Xavier off the ropes and front flip sent oh. on to the floor, lands on his feet. Desmond Xavier right now is on fire, man. The X-Man is on fire. I mean, I know he'd love nothing more than to win that Rising Stars title this Sunday at Gridlock. Build momentum here. It could give you a huge opportunity to win that championship. Momentum is everything, man. Omar Robinson counters with a jawbreaker. And Omar, oh, oh, he just blew Desmond's knee out. No, uh is -oh, he going for it? Ah, uh, damn, continuing uh -oh. to attack the leg. Here's Omar Robinson on uh, Nikki Sutton watches on here. Omar just taking out the leg of Desmond there. Now, instead of going after Omar, Sutton's going to lift up Desmond. Those two have too much heat with one another. Oh, rolling leg there it is. bar. Rolling leg bar. Rolling knee bar from Robinson and, and Desmond it's all Xavier. Good. He Omar taps has eliminated two well. of the competitors in this match. Is he going to eliminate all three? He might. He's got Sutton up now. Does Omar Robinson and hangs it on to dry oh. on the ropes. Does Omar. He just laid out Nikki. They're not going to lift him right back up to his feet. Went to follow up. Nikki Sutton counters, puts him over the ropes. Sutton drop kicks Robinson to the floor. Should be a huge opportunity for Nikki Sutton to win this match up here tonight. Like I've been stating, huge opportunity for whoever can win this. And Nikki Sutton just pulled out a sledgehammer. Uh, they're definitely not shying away from pulling out weapons here tonight. Nikki Sutton now lifts Omar back up to his feet here. What a Sutton. Franken driver on the floor. Oh, oh my! If I'm not mistaken, that might have just hit the sledgehammer head there. You see Nikki Sutton turn his body in mid move. And Sutton and might have it. this. Sutton going for something. Uh, he was he was deciding to go over the top. Now deciding not to go over the top. Having an issue with choosing what corner to go to. Nicky Sutton needs to go to the top rope here if, if, if he wants to fucking win this. Omar could have a huge opportunity to come back into this here. Sutton now in the middle rope. Finally decides to go to the middle rope instead of the top rope. Sutton catching his breath in the corner trying to figure out what he wanted to do to him. Front drop kick. The kip up from Nicky Sutton. Sutton is fired Damn. up. Sutton yet again is fired back up in this matchup here. Omar standing switch puts him over the ropes. Shoulder uh -oh. tackle the stomach. Now going to float over sunset. Flip oh. bomb onto the floor. God damn. Omar Robinson so far has eliminated the other two competitors in this match. Ben, can he eliminate Nikki Sutton as well? I mean, he's made both men tap. Is he going to get for three taps? Or is he going to try to go for a pin? Well, I don't think I've ever seen Omar win with a pinball. <laughs> right there, he sends sure Nicky Sutton back into the ring. He's a submission specialist for a reason, man. Oh, and right oh, there, there I is. just said it. Single leg bosses did all the submissions in this match, man. There goes Sutton. God damn. He won the first one with the patented leg bar. He got a little short man with that, the rolling knee bar. Got rid of uh, Desmond Xavier. And now finally, Nicky Sutton just tapped up with a single leg Boston. That is insane, man. Omar Robinson. God damn. I mean, I don't even know if he needs spot six, really. He's gonna get it, though. God damn, that was impressive. Omar has literally beat everyone in the damn division now for that title. Can you believe that shit? Hey, the Omar Robinson. I mean, there's no reason there's a V there. Just 
chicken clearly... sudden out of the ring. This chicken out of the ring. Did you see that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the big win for Omar here in Detroit. I don't really get that, but I mean, it's in front of his hometown crowd, it is. Yeah, far away is where I wanna go. Yeah. Swimming in money, her pot of gold. Saying to myself, oh, Geronimo won't forget where I came from. Nah. Even though I have nice things to show off, it won't mean that I changed up. Nah. Like the baseball pitch. Okay, now we're getting into one of the big matches here tonight, which is going to be the world class maniac Eric Young going head to head with the villain Marty Skull. The winner of this matchup will move on to Griswold to fight. United States Champion KSJ and Hammerstone in a triple threat for the U.S. title. It's going to be a huge opportunity for whoever wins this match. They could walk out of the universe as the uh, U.S. champ. Last week we had two epic triple threats where Eric Young won and beat Dean Ambrose and... Who was the other guy? It was Dean Ambrose, Austin Aries, and Eric Young. There we go. That was the triple threat, epic freaking triple threat between those three. And then, of course, the other three racing, Marty Skrull with EC3. And now I'm, drawing a, now I'm drawing a blank on who the other guy was in that one. God damn it, nonetheless. Now making his way down to the ring, of course, is his opponent. Nakamura was in one of those. I can't remember which one he was in, though. I think Nakamura was in one. I don't know. I'm having issues right now. But uh, nonetheless, Marty Skrull's making his way down to the ring here. Uh, Marty had a beautiful freaking win in that triple threat. Marty Skrull did a great freaking job in that triple threat. He won with the cross face chicken wing, submitting EC3, and then of course Dean Ambrose would get pinned in the other triple threat by, and of course the man in the ring right now, Eric Young. Actually, no, he piled right there. He ended up winning with a vicious freaking sell pile driver at the end of the match after everything all the competitors went through. It wasn't the same man. We started that match off with a last chancery right into the dirty deeds. And I, I was just very shocked at how that match happened. Yeah, so you missed a very good week last week. How does that make you feel? So upset. That's not very convincing. Uh, nonetheless, Marty Skrull is about to go one-on-one -on -one with Eric Young here. He was still mad because Cage lost earlier. Now he doesn't get the sixth the final racist spot. Fucking racist fucking everything. Racist, racist, oh yeah, we're 2018 now. I don't racist, right? Uh, nonetheless, Marty Skrull is about to go head-to-head. -head. Gotta love it. He is loving it. Marty Skrull is about to go head-to-head -head with Eric Young here. World-class maniac versus the villain. And muscles ring that damn bell, you racist referee. All right, there, float over DDT from Marty Skrull. Now I'm supporting racist referees. Uh, now Marty's going right after the arm of Eric Young. That damaged arm still of EY. Damn, that did not look good. Like, that arm almost looked like it snapped. That arm, of course, Ben, is still injured of Eric Young from clear back at Extreme Mayhem. And Marty Skrull is taking advantage it. of that right now. He's being a complete asshole. Oh man! That's how you do. It. That's how you win matches. By being an asshole, and EY yep. kicks out a zero there. He's not taking none of Marty Skrull shit here, but Marty's just continuing after Eric Young here. Eric Young is not doing very good at all right now, man. Looks like the maniac is, you know, not as wild as he used to be. Yeah, big kick there from EY off the counter of the crossbody. And now Eric Young going to send Marty Skrull off the ropes. No! Oh, fuck. Oh, I shut him up real quick. EY lifts him right back up talking. to his feet. Uh, well, uh, okay, well, you didn't hear him. All uh, right there, Marty going for a Falcon's arrow. EY counters the knee to the head and close lines into the floor. Okay, I might be being overzealous right now. I might be uh, saying this a little too early, but so far this has been the best match of the show. Like this is incredible action so far to kick off this match. Big jumping neck breaker from Eric Young. Oh, he's kicked him in the face. No, oh, and now you just need him in the nuts. Eric Young's being very vicious in this match, but he, I'm he he takes offense to that injured arm getting hit a lot in the Oh, that is true. He's being very vile though in this match. He's like, 
He fucking hits Morty in the nuts. I mean, go, and then that sends Damn. him into the steps. Yeah, Eric Young is not fucking around. He really wants that U.S. title. Don't forget, Eric Young was in Extreme Mayhem, Ben, and ever since then, he hasn't really got the opportunities opportunities that Chief Graham or Adam Page have got. It's very true. Oh, Ooh. right there. Nice move there from EY right Damn. into the cover. We see him try to win early with that last week. Only a one count. That move doesn't quite get the job done anymore. Uh, Marty able to kick out at one, but EY gonna, EY gonna hit it again, two in a row! Oh. Dude, he, he, he wants to try, he wants to win with that. Yeah, now Eric going to the top rope here, EY he could be looking it. to drop that elbow, and it connects oh, right across dang. the chest! Right into the heart of the skull. Yeah, I mean, EY is just destroying Marty now, this match has completely been 180'd here. He'll lift Marty up to seated position here. Now lifts him up to one knee. Marty Skull able to roll through. Catches him. Double knees to the face. Mar Mar Marty playing possum a little bit that way until EY got into a soft uh, this place of security and just came in there and had to know what double knees. And you see they just stomped on his face too. Jesus. I bet. Now Marty. Oh god, he's gonna go back after right, that injured again. arm again. You, that will set up for that cross face chicken wing. It's very smart for Marty Skrull to do that. Oh no, so now. Uh, what is he going for? Oh. Here we go. Wait, it's been a minute since we've seen this. Uh, EY better watch out. No! Oh man! Fuck. Can we get the highlights on that again? One, two, nine. Oh, and EY able to kick out at two. Unfortunately for EY, I don't know if that was a bit wise move because now he's just going to target the arm even more. Yeah, EY is in trouble at this point, man. And he's uh, got that injured is. arm right into the crossface chicken wing. EY is fucked at this point. Night, night, Eric. Night, night, man. Crossface chicken wing locked in. Eric Young. Eric Young, and he submits. He Marty Skrull is moving on to gridlock. That was a good that was a good fight there for Eric Young, but he did not last and Marty Skrull is now moving on to gridlock. As soon as Marty started aiming into that arm, it was all over. Oh man, just look at that. I'm telling you man, his arm snapped there. It just looked bad. Who knows? God damn it, EY was in so much control, man. He was fighting through that injured elbow and everything. Look at that again. That was a beautiful move from Eric Young. Right into the cover, man. I thought he had it, but Marty kicks out of one. Then right here, the diving elbow, that connected perfectly. Notice he moved the good elbow and not the bad one. Then right there, the front flip DT, and that would just not... Eric Young was practically done at that point. I mean, of course he was able to kick out, but he, he wasn't conscious. I mean, let's be real. He, he was in no position to continue fighting at that point. That was just pure instinct. God damn it, now Marty is moving on to gridlock, so it will now be Marty Skrull versus Hammerstone. Oh, those two will be back in the ring again together from the U.S. title tournament. That will be great. Marty Skrull, Hammerstone, and of course the champ KSJ. Triple threat for the U.S. title. Nightlife, lights out. Walk into a dead room, turn a dead room to a high crowd. Oh please, y'all here looking so cheap I'm in here so deep With a hundred dollars on both feet My team is no sleep, no sleep Down to the end of the freaking card here As KSJ is about to go head to head With the five star general himself Adam Page This is going to be a huge matchup man First time ever United States champion Going one on one With five star Adam Page and knocked off Hammerstone the other week in impressive fashion in KSJ. Man, he did a suicide spear through the goddamn ropes on the hammer, dropped him down on his head on the damn floor, and then followed up with a diving elbow right to the back of the neck for the win the other week. It was insane. So I dream bigger. Are you surprised? We should be crazy shit from here. Yeah, well, remember, I wouldn't be big on him at the start, and you made sure you made that pretty clear. But, uh, nonetheless, KSJ is making his way into the ring now. I don't know if I'm still that big on him, but he is very impressive. I will give him that. I'm just not much of a fan of these UCW guys, but 
KSA might be an exception. Unlike Slick Dick and fucking Cold Shields and Douchebag Lewis. Oh, on records. We'll deal with them fucking this Wednesday and Thursday, I mean. And now making his way down to the ring, here's the five star general, Adam Page, the former two time Intercontinental Champion. The man with the looks can kill and the moves that, well, can kill. The moves that thrill. The moves that thrill, there we go. The looks that kill and the moves that thrill, boom. That's his new slogan, he just created it, good job. LCK, the man behind the LCK, the looks that can kill Adam Page is making his way down to the ring. The five-star general, the workhorse of the UWA, Adam Page is about to go head to head with the U.S. champ. You know, Adam Page feels like he's been, uh, he's been overlooked here this year on Mayhem quite a bit. He did win Extreme Mayhem, and he did main event showdown Seattle with Nitro, or at least second to last match. They had a great match too, by the way. But Adam Page just feels as though he hasn't been getting quite the opportunities that he deserves, and I kind of agree. Well, best way to show that is to fight and oh, show God. that you deserve them. KSJ, man, he's going right after Adam Page. I think KSJ understands that if he can win tonight, if he can knock off Adam Page, man, that might move him from the mid card to the main event scene. I mean, really speaking, right? I mean, you knock off Definitely. Adam Page. He's like the face of mayhem, man. Arguably. Now KSJ in the middle rope here. He's calling out. Adam Page is already banged up, man. KSJ's having to call him up to his feet already. Went for the double knees. That's right out of the playbook of Adam Page. And KSJ went for Adam Page's move on him. Now sends him off the ropes. Oh! God damn. As they pop up knee the stomach bin. Oh, oh, dragon God. screw. Yeah, I'm just KSJ right now is being very impressive here against five star Adam Page. And now a single knee camel clutch applied on the ring general. The ring general's in trouble. And Adam Page able to fight out of it. AP now gonna send KSJ off the ropes looking to return the favor. And I was about to say, watch out for that high knee. KSJ wants to throw some knees. Adam Page will return the favor. Oh, God. Here we go. Dragon suplex. And that's a wicked camera angle. Who the hell is doing the camera angles tonight? Good fucking job. Because that camera angle, that Marty Skrull was perfect. I mean, we did hire some new camera guys. And now Adam Page looking to pull. Uh, he's looking to do exactly what Marty did in the last match. I mean, hey, that's 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 some uh, help to prepare there for Cage for Marty Skrull. Oh! That went to the back of the net. Yeah, that's exactly what KSJ did the other week to retain the title against Hammer. And now you see him going right back after the army of the Widowmaker is locked in. He's got him in the win. Oh my god! Adam Page is no KSJ tap. Adam Page was not playing around tonight, man. He, uh, he definitely just made a statement here. He just dominated that match. Holy fuck. Did you just see that? I did. God damn, KSJ got caught off guard, man. Adam Page made him pay for it. AP just won yeah. off the Widowmaker yeah. there. It shouldn't be too surprising. Mean, he is a former Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, I'm just shocked he was able to walk that in so early into the match. Nonetheless, Adam Page wins right there with the Widowmaker. Adam Page making a statement. He is in the locked in match, Ben. I mean, could Adam Page be walking out the future challenger for one of the belts?
Now we are ready for the main event here tonight in Detroit. It is going to be the rematch for the Universe Championship. These two have had great matches in the past. Three matches so far. Every single one's been epic, Ben. Any predictions? Nothing? Um, uh, one is someone I really hate, and the other one is someone you overly praise because you're biased. But I don't know who to pick. No, you're not happen. supposed to pick anyone. That's being biased, Ben. You're not supposed to be biased. The fuck have we been talking you're about? Biased shit. No, I'm not. Nitro's making his way down to the ring here. He's about to face Adam Cole, baby! And nonetheless, this is going to be an epic universe title match between the former two-time universe champion, the Nitro Nightmare, Nitro himself, the veteran, one of the veterans here in the UWA, would you say? Yeah, he is. That's it? Okay. Uh, and uh, Nitro's about to go head dead with Adam Cole. You're being very quiet here tonight. You're still mad that I had that cage lost. Fucking rest. I feel like you like crying like low key and I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm not the one that no one ever checks in on. Nonetheless, and now, out, and out comes the champion next. Oh, ha 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 ha. Adam Cole is making his way down to the ring, the universe champion. Oh, are you ready for this, Ben? Are you ready for Adam Cole, baby? This is his first appearance as champ. Adam Cole, baby! Is that not loud enough? I'm surprised you didn't start screaming. Uh, then the rest of the universe. I think my earphones are in. And the universe champion, Adam Cole, maybe. Adam Cole, baby! <laughs> He's about to go head to head with Nitro here tonight as Adam Cole, baby! And this is sure to be an epic match. He he had an amazing match with Nitro at Hellbound, man. An amazing freaking match. I bet you wish you were on Carpenter's that match. Ah, uh, I bet it was. What's up there for Adam Cole? Adam Cole, Nitro, here we go. I think this is like match number four. Look at those beautiful custom side plates for Adam Cole, too. Adam Cole is just like the new set freaking rolling. He's just like that freaking good, man. He's Adam freaking Cole, baby. All right, there's a universe title thrown up on the line. That's how I'm going to introduce him here. Okay, introducing first the challenger from Wall Street. This is the Nitro Nightmare, the former two-time UWA Universe Champion, Nitro. And are you ready for this? And his opponent, Ooh, again. he is the Panama City Playboy. He is the new man of the universe. This is the best man on mayhem. This is your UWA Universe Champion, Adam freaking Cole, baby! You like how Adam added freaking in there? He's now Adam I freaking hear. Cole, baby. Uh oh. Oh, you're just you're, are you copying stuff now? No, no, no. I'm not. I, I, I gave that to Seth, man. I gave him Seth freaking Rollins. Now I'm giving mm -hmm. it to Adam Cole as well. Cause they're both freaking awesome. Is that fair enough to say? And now Muscles rings the bell here. We're gonna get this matchup underway. Oh, Nitro just took out Adam Cole's fuck? knee there. That was a cheap shot. That was a cheap shot, Muscles. He kicked him in oh. the knee. Wait, 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 I thought it was a cheap shot. He kicked him in the knee. Are you sure? Yeah, he cheap shot him in the knee. Oh. And now he to twist off back suplex there from Nitro. Nitro right now is taking it to the Universe Champ Adam Cole, baby. Oh, he just bitch slapped him. Come on, Muscles. Do something about that shit. Yeah, now, a corkscrew neck breaker from Nitro. Come on, Nitro. Fuck off, man. Adam Cole wasn't ready. Oh, it sounds like someone's being a little biased towards the uh, no, champ. No, Nitro's just being a prick right now. Now he's being a prick again. Yeah, he's being a cock-sucking prick. Nitro, you shoeless bastard. Quit being a fuck. Oh, now Adam Cole carries him with a jawbreaker. I don't even know what it means to be a fuck, but that's what Nitro is doing. Float over neckbreaker from Adam Cole, baby. 
Now Cole in for a quick cover. Come on, Muscle. Think, that think, was a slow count. To answer that question, I think you need to go back to school for sex ed or, you know, have the birds and bees talk with your parents. Possibly. Oh, they went for the super kick. Nitro blocks it again. Adam Cole going to send him off the ropes yet again. Try for it again. Once again, that Nitro holds on. Nitro dodged the super kick two times in a row. Now Adam Cole just countered the freaking vintage back suplex. And mm. these two. There's only so many times you can go for a, a super kick before someone starts realizing the pattern that you're going for. That is true. Oh, God. That neck breaker, that vintage neck breaker from Adam Cole. Hey, Ushagaroshi. Adam Cole now taking it to Nitro, baby. And now drop toe hold there from Adam Cole. Nitro pleading. Look at Nitro's pleading for his freaking mommy. Oh, and now an eye rake there from Adam Cole. Nitro right caught the, the leg of Cole. Oh, now Cole rakes the eyes again. Come on, Cole. You didn't need to oh. resort to that. Oh, man. These two right now. Oh, my God. And Nitro catches Back him with a four. clothesline. This matchup is incredible, man. Back. Come on, Cole, get up. Oh, the Adam Cole back up to his feet. Nitro sends him into the corner. Come on, Cole. There you go. Float over neck breaker from Adam Cole, baby. What is Cole? Yeah, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Shoot him. No. Night, night, Nitro, you piece of shit. Oh, what the... Nah. Adam Cole called up Nitro here. I didn't say anything. Uh, got the last shot there. The last shot from Adam Cole, baby. Can that be it? One, two, and no! Nitro kicks out. Nitro kicked out. God damn it. That was a, that was a close call by uh, Mr. Muscle. Yeah, Adam Cole's calling up Nitro now. What is Cole going for from here? Oh, man! Nice knee shot to the face with Nitro. God damn it. Now Adam Cole going vintage Cole here just ranking on the neck. Is Adam Cole, baby. Holy crap. That was a vicious freaking knee from Adam Cole. And now Nitro able to counter whips him into the corner. Oh, no, Adam, get out of there. Who knows what the hell this sick green uh -oh. bastard is going to do. Oh, you son oh, of a we... bitch. Fuck you, Nitro. Don't you. You son of a bitch. He just raped Adam mm -hmm. Cole's face. Fuck you, Nitro. What I mean, the fuck? People, sometimes people pay good money for that. You get your Nitro for free. Oh, my. Wait, what the hell? Oh, uh, Zazander, what's the, that Xander Mercer's music doing? What the fuck are you doing? The fuck? Wait, we're in the middle of a match between Adam Cole and Nigel. What the hell is going on? The Executioner is here. The Executioner is in Detroit. This is not good for anyone here, really, other than himself. The question is, what is he doing here? Uh, I don't know, I do believe that he is in the walk-in match, though, I hear that Xander is now... Oh my gosh! Oh shit! Execution knee from Xander Mercer, he just made a statement! Oh my god, I think... I think this is payback from... from the freaking cash-in bid! Oh god, now He's Mercer's probably... special, the match uh -oh. has ended in DQ! Oh man! Jesus Christ, Xander just laid out Nitro. You've got to be kidding me. Adam Cole's none the wiser just laying out there on the, out there on the side. Oh, wait. Come on, Cole. Don't, don't do this. Come on. This isn't right, right Cole. Last shot again. A second last shot to Nitro. The match is... The muscles never DQ'd it. What the fuck? And Cole just retains the time. The fuck, Cole? Okay, I don't agree with that at all. He's like what he did to Johnny Mayhem. That's fucked up. What he did there is fucked up, too. Then he just gave him the win. He just screwed over Nigel. Mercy just screwed over Nigel. That's payback for Rose and Richard, I guess, but that's fucked up. Muscles, what are you doing, you idiot? 
Maybe he is a racist. I don't fucking know. Maybe, maybe he hates neon green bastards too. What the fuck? Now, nonetheless, then, still your universe champion to close Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. Uh, for Mayhem this week, Adam Cole retains the belt, baby, I guess. I don't know what to say right now. I'm a little PO.